This situation annoyed the absolute hell out of me, and I want to talk about it. The internet is a strange place, but TikTok is even stranger. That's right. Now, there's something about people online nowadays, they just sympathy bait, clickbait for whatever the hell they want to clickbait it for, just to get attention, just to get views. And I've been very annoyed. Annoyed is an understatement. I've been very aggressively watching content. And this content that I've been watching lately is people faking disorders. And I did cover somebody a while ago, Two two Souls, One Bod, I'm pretty sure their name was, where they faked the hell out of Tourette's and Disassociative Identity Disorder. And they really annoyed the shit out of me. But there's just this one thing, y'all, that bothers me, that growing trend of self-diagnosing on the internet and then saying, oh, I'm living with Tourette's or I'm living with ADHD. And they truly don't have it. It's just something that they're using for content, views, clickbait, sympathy. I don't know if y'all remember this one girl who does pack with me with Tourette's where she would make videos of herself packing and then having alleged Tourette fits but she in my opinion and a lot of other people's opinions just does not have it and a lot of people were very upset saying hey this makes people with Tourette's look like actual fucking fools you're misrepresenting how people with Tourette's actually are oh oh, oh. Oh, god Send me to Canada. Send me to Canada. Yeah, by the way, she was exposed and she never really had Tourette. She was faking it the entire time. Believe it or not. Surprising, right? You're telling me there's an illness that makes you blurt out obscenities? All right, hold on just a second here. Are you telling me that if you have this Tourette syndrome, you can say whatever you want all the time and never get in trouble? It's a neurological disorder. He can't help it. Yeah. It started about four days ago, Doctor, and every day he seems to get worse. P pussy! Oh! Pussy! Cack! Oh, Shit. dear. I was checking out the internet, and it, it almost seems like his symptoms are like those in something called Tourette Syndrome. Tourette Syndrome? What is that, Mommy? Butthole! Titties! Bowels! That doesn't seem likely. Tourette's is a hereditary disease. It doesn't just suddenly start. Cocksucker! Well, up until this point, you might be confused, what the hell is this video going to be about if it's not about ticks and roses and it's not going to be about this whole long rant? It is going to be a rant, but hear me out. I feel like all these people faking disorders online nowadays is really distracting and giving people misinformation on what people with the actual disorder actually behave like. So whenever people see all these people who are faking disorders online, such as ticks and roses, they'll associate that fake behavior with the real Tourette syndrome. Then when they meet somebody with real Tourette's, they're going to be like, uh, you probably don't have it because that's not really like what ticks and roses is like and I get it's different for everybody but y'all it really came out that she was faking it and it pisses me off because there's this couple on the internet over on TikTok more specifically who had to leave TikTok because they're both on the spectrum and people were saying that he's kidnapped people are saying that the woman was putting him at risk forcing him to say stuff but y'all that just truly wasn't the case and I want to play a couple clips so that y'all can get a little bit more information and insight as to what I'm talking about uh, today is April 12th and I'm Jason Parsons me and my girlfriend have been in a relationship for a couple months now now and we have autism and uh, special needs and basically We've been struggling with anxiety and other issues due to what has happened on Easter. Who has the best girlfriend ever? I do. Who just bought you all this stuff? She did. And all stuff? My girl bought all of it and I'm about to eat this and then we're gonna chow on that after. So, happy mm. Easter. Yeah, but we're not eating at all. Just know that because we got to save some. Yeah. You know, budget cuts, you know, <laughs> save, save, save. Now, I might not say everything right or explain myself exactly how I want to explain myself because I'm pretty frustrated going into this. But I, I understand autism looks different for everybody. There is different ends of the spectrum and sometimes people fall on the low end sometimes they're in the middle sometimes they're at the far end of the autism scale but the thing about it is that again it looks differently for everybody everybody 
acts different. And everybody has their own personalities, their own individuality. And I think that maybe because this is a more autism's newer, okay? So I understand it has been around for a while, but it hasn't been around for that long. So I think that people faking autism, a lot of people aren't going to chime in and be like, hey, you're faking this because it, everybody acts differently with it. But it's something that you can't self-diagnose yourself. You have to go to the doctor. You can't just get on the internet and see somebody with them and be like, oh, I have autism, and then start making videos claiming that you do. That's like brushing your hair and your hair sheds a little bit and you're like, oh, I have cancer. Let me get online and make videos about it. I think it's disgusting. But a lot of people were watching these videos of this couple who have autism and have spoke about having autism. And they were saying, oh, he's in trouble. The girlfriend has him like at hostage or uh, uh, there's some weird abusive situation going on off camera. And that's why he acts like that throughout the videos. And it pisses me off. It, it pisses me off. Now, y'all, somebody had uploaded this video exactly, and they had it talked about how they reached out to a family member to confirm that they're actually on the spectrum, and this is what they said. Upon seeing the narrative, I found a family member within less than 10 minutes. Family confirmed they're both ASD with extra supports. Confirmed their private info was doxxed across the internet. Multiple people from social media swatted them to their local police. Instead of doing a welfare check, which is something that you would do, you would send police over as a wellness check if you were truly concerned about there being abusive behavior or thinking that somebody was in danger. But back to what she was saying... Please engage with this video. She was saying that anybody who likes, shares, or comments, repost, stitch, or do ets this video, all the earnings are being sent directly to this couple. Y'all, this person then went on to say many of the content creators who still have this harmful narrative up refuse to remove their content, even though they have been informed that it's just not true. A lot of larger content creators, which is exploitation. They are monetizing and building their platforms on the backs of vulnerable people. I'm straight. I just ate my supper and, and I'm fine. I'm healthy and I'm good. So, good night. And tell them <laughs> that I'm not trying to harm you no, or hurt you. She isn't you. trying to harm me or anything. Uh, I'm this. Uh, this is my life. This is the way I live. And if you don't accept it, you can, you know, move on. And I'm gonna. I'm strong and I'm stronger than ever because of this woman right here. And I'm never gonna fucking be scared of anything or anyone so i'm healthy and straight so just have a good night good night people and we have well, my cash app, if you guys want to. It irritates me that a lot of people in this whole scenario who helped build up the, th the theory that this man is somebody who's being abused, that he's not safe in his own home, that this woman is targeting him, when in fact this is just a lovely couple who just so happens to be on the spectrum, just trying to live their lives together and use TikTok, a platform just like anybody else would and document their little journey doing whatever the hell they want to do. And the fact that people are saying they're concerned about him, but instead of sending a wellness check to be done and calling authorities to SWAT this couple, it pisses me off. And then it takes me back to the intro of this video where I was saying all these people who are online nowadays who are faking having certain illnesses, cancer, they're faking having Tourette's, autism, all types of things. Like, really, people will fake anything just to fucking fake it. I'm surprised you don't have people out there with fake prosthetics, even though I'm sure that's a thing, too. You know, it's just so damn bothersome that there are people out there who are vile enough to lie and say that they have a certain disorder or condition or some type of chronic illness, and they actually don't have it. And they're posting TikToks or YouTube videos or whatever the case may be, whatever platform, posting content about their journey, but it's just misrepresentation of people who really have that disorder and they're just simply cosplaying it. You know, it's really sad too because then when people come across this type of content where people are faking conditions, they'll buy into it. And then whenever they see people such as this couple who truly have ASD, they're, gonna, they're like, oh, you're faking it. You must be in trouble. Why are you acting like that? Probably because all the other people you see online are faking having that ASD. I'm gonna wrap this up by saying... People who's been faking shit on the internet for whatever 
reason they've been doing it is causing such a misrepresentation. It's causing such a blur with the people who truly have the disorder, how it really functions, how it works, their journeys with it, how they are socially. It really, really degrades their experiences because you're fake and having it and you're misrepresenting the fuck out of the people who truly do have that disorder or that illness or whatever the case may be. I'm going to wrap this up.